And I told him who I was. Of course, that meant absolutely nothing. <laughs> and I told him, you know, okay, uh, I'm an artist. I want to couple up with you, and we'll be, you know, the teamwork and all that stuff. You know, partnership and so forth. Well, they turned me down. They said, uh, they said uh, we, get, we get calls like from you know, guys like you all the time. And I, and, uh, By the way, he works at Jeff Dago now. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, but I was persistent. You know, I, I, I begged and I groveled and I, I wept and I, 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 I lay prostrate, which isn't easy to follow. <laughs> was pathetic enough that they said, okay, we'll give you 10 minutes in the lobby. I said, hey, we're in the door. And I, well, they sent down somebody who wasn't actually even a, an ESCO employee, Steve Smoke. Yeah, I remember. I remember Steve Smoke. I had nothing to do with rejecting you, by the way. <laughs> just so you know. Yeah, he came down know. and he said, uh, his exact words were, they sent me down to get rid of you. Oh. You've got 10 minutes. So we started going over the designs. And so well, what really got it though is I handed him my design book. I had hundreds of designs that I made. And, uh, and, and he said, he suggested we take it up to the conference room and spread it out. And I, I said, okay, that's more than 10 minutes. So we did. Well, and to sort of give you the abridged version, before the end of the day, we had a memo uh, for a contract. Wow. Uh, <laughs> How many hours later? A long time. <laughs> <laughs> so it can't, it can't get better, better, you know. And actually, it was Kathy Cook that suggested that to create a Santa Claus that would be completely different, completely um, original, exciting, different, you know, something. We, we'd, we'd be interested in taking a look at it. And uh, I told her, I said, you know, that's a that's a great idea. You know, come up with some some new new Santa Claus. How many have you done, Crystal? <laughs> oh, well, I, I said, I, I told him, I said, or I told her at the time, I said, that's a great idea, but I think it's impossible. I said, I personally have done hundreds of Santas. Hundreds of artists have done hundreds of Santas for hundreds of years. I, I think it's all pretty much been, you know, been done. You know? But as I was telling her no, I was thinking, maybe, because my true love in art, well, my natural art style is photographic realism. But I love folk art because of its, because of its, its, uh, its innocence you know, and its charm. And I thought, OK, all the elements that I use in the, my, the folk art things that I do, I can combine all of that. None of it has anything to do with Christmas or, or Santa Claus or anything like that or the subjects that I'm going to put it on. But I'm going to mix all this stuff up and put it on there. And I, I, I sculpted seven of them, seven of them that first time. And they, and they actually, they looked, they surprised me a bit. <laughs> uh, and so I told her, I said, okay, I've got something to show you. Well, we brought them up and, uh, and we, uh, we went through a little bit of a, a go around, getting them actually, you know, approved and so forth. But once they got approved, then they, uh, uh, they showed, I think the first time, at the Philadelphia, it was one of the Philadelphia. It, they did, Philadelphia, yep. Yeah, and that was really what gave us the, 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 the confidence that, that that style was uh, yeah. something that's going to be popular. And that, you that were actually was, painting a picture there, too, at the Philadelphia show. Yeah. Isn't that where you did the rooster? Yeah, I did the Wake in the Day, that, uh, yeah. that image of Wake in the Day for, for John Stanley. So we've had a lot of ups and downs and uh, ins and outs, and uh, it's been an absolutely interesting and unique relationship that I would I would trade the world for. Had a lot of help from them. Well, it's been well, you know, I'm standing here getting all this attention and everything, you know, and well deserved. But 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 I know that it's a team sport, you know, and I. I I'm delighted that we have the leadership of Todd now, and we've got, you know, with Michael and Joan and with the, with the rest of, of, of the leadership here, I think we are really poised to be, to, to continue this, the greatness of the NASCAR. And our but, team in South Carolina. And our team in South Carolina. We've got Crystal, 
um, uh, Rose here. 30 years. And Chris year. has worked with us for 30 years. Wow. <laughs> Child. She, first <laughs> she was a child, 18, Crystal. Yeah. And, uh, 20. 20. Were you 20? You don't look at nails, that is. So we, yeah. And we recognized her talent, you know, early on, and uh, so she's done an awful lot of the color work and so forth that, uh, that we've done, done on all the designs and so forth. So she, she probably understands my artwork and the way I think and everything more better than probably anybody else on the planet. And so we've, uh, we've done some good things together. But I want to also say that, that none of this could be possible without you all. I mean, you all are the front lines. You're the, you're the, uh, you're the, you're the soldiers, you know, that, uh, that are fighting this, uh, this battle. And uh, the real credit is because of you all, because you're the ones that really uh, that, that are the conduit between what I do and our uh, the most important element of what we do, and that's our customers. So uh, I just want to thank you. Once again, and I'd like to toast all of you all. You're here. here. Yeah.